Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the castles of King Edward I in Gwynedd, northwestern Wales. Now we're here in northwestern Wales where there's a series of four massive fortress castles constructed by King Edward I of England. Edward was of course known as Longshanks because of his unusual height, though modern audiences would be more familiar with him as the evil English king from Braveheart, yes that guy. Now he conquered the area after a series of Welsh rebellions in the 1280s and to cement his power he built four massive castles which we're going to explore now. Let's have a look. This is the castle at Carnarvon, and it's the largest and strongest of the four castles Edward constructed. Now, although it was never actually finished, it was here during construction that Edward's son, Edward II, was born. And to cement his authority over the Welsh, Edward granted his son the title Prince of Wales, which is still used to this day as the title for the heir apparent to the throne of the United Kingdom. Prince Charles is, of course, the Prince of Wales. Now this is Harlech Castle, and it was built in just six short years by King Edward I and his builders. Originally, the sea, you can say, was much closer to the castle walls, so it was designed to withstand an attack from both that direction and an attack over the hills as well. It is the southernmost fortress in this defensive line. This is the Maris Castle, and it was the last castle to be built. They started it in 1295, and it was never finished because Edward, conquering Scotland at the time, ran out of money, and so they just left it be. Now, this is a classic example of what we call concentric castle design, because it has walls within walls. There's a very strong outer wall, and then an even stronger inner wall, so it was very, very hard to conquer. I just love the passages and little nooks and crannies in these castles. There's just so much exploring and so much history that you can feel. It's, it's a lot of fun. Last but not least is Conwy Castle. And this one was actually completed in just four years. But that's it from me here in uh, Gwyneth in northwestern Wales. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.